What do you do when you have 200 unread books on your shelves? You buy more, of course. Hello lovely book dragons and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing my January book haul. I was really quite okay in January. I didn't buy a ton of books, but I decided that I was going to share with you what I bought. And we're going to start with the Kindle purchases and then we're going to go into the physical books. So in January, I joined the Shelf Published In Discord server, which is a Discord server where we read self-published authors. I will leave Leslie over at the Nerdy Narratives video link down below because she's the one who came up with this. So if you're interested in reading self-published authors, um, I think this is a space for you. And I decided that that was something that I actually wanted to include more in my reading. I don't read almost any self-published authors and I thought that was really sad. So I decided to join the Shelf Published in, and well, listen, in January there was a huge sale that I think is still going on for some self-published fantasy Kindle deals. And I wanted to buy them all, but then I decided, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. You don't need to buy everything in one go, but I did get a few of them. So here are the self-published authors I bought on Kindle. The first book I bought is Wildcat. And this one I bought because we are actually going to be buddy reading this one in February for the shelf published in book club. I'm so excited for this. Uh, it took me a while to find this book because I kept on misspelling the name of the author and so it wouldn't show up on my Kindle store. And every time you typed in, I typed in just Wildcat, a lot of weird stuff came up. So um, I'm really excited to read this one. I hear that the series gets better as it goes. It's incredible because this book has like almost no ratings on Goodreads and I just want to like come on, come on, we gotta read these self-published authors, gotta support them, and I'm so excited to be buddy reading this with all of my friends over at Shelf Published In. The next book I got on Kindle, I'm not sure if it is self-published, but I will let you know if it is or isn't, but it is The Gutter Prayer. And this one, I was debating getting the physical copy or getting the ebook because I really like this cover. And I think it was Bookborn that read this recently. I think it was her, I, I don't remember, but I recently heard someone read this one and really enjoy it. And they said that the cover really matches the book once you've read it and come back to the cover. And this just sounded really great. Oh, by the way, like I, I, I always say this in every one of my videos, I don't know much about these books going in because that is how I prefer to go into books. But if you are interested in any of these, I will leave the Goodreads link down below for all of these so you can check them out for yourselves. The next self-published Kindle deal that I purchased, which was really a deal was Paternus and this is the whole trilogy. So I got Paternus, Wrath of Gods and War of Gods. The whole trilogy for 89 cents on Kindle. <sighs> this series, uh, I think if you are on the fantasy booktube side of things, you will probably have heard of it because Patrick over at Patrick Leo has been raving about this series. He loves it. And then I recently saw, I think it's JJ over at Bearded Bookworm. I think he was also reading this and then someone else was reading it. So it's the exact same story. I heard Patrick talk about it. I put it off for a long time. Then I heard about the deal, 89 cents on Kindle. I bought it and then all of a sudden everyone was reading Paternus and I cannot wait because apparently this is an incredible trilogy and I have the three books now and I can just binge them. I can just binge them. So if anyone wants to read this with me as well, just let me know. And the next book I bought is Winds of Strife. And this one I'm really excited because if I'm not mistaken, I think this was written by one of the guys over at Codex Cantina, which I will leave their channel down below. I just recently started following them. So I'm not 100% sure about this, but my good friend Andrew seems so excited about this. I don't think he has read it yet, but he has been hyping it up because he's good friends with the author. And so I needed to get to this. I mean, if it's an, a booktuber who writes this, this fantasy series, I just gotta read it. And the cover also looks awesome. And this book is actually the shelf published in book club pick for the month of March, if, no, for the month of April, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really excited to get to this one. And then I purchased three more books in that Kindle deal. The first one being Last Memoria. I really like books that talk about like memories and stuff like that and forgetting stuff and then remembering like one of my favorite books of last year had this trope, I don't wanna say, too much about it but yeah i this one sounded incredible it was so so cheap and the cover was also so intriguing i just can't wait to read this one next up is netherlight and i read the synopsis it seemed really 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 interesting and then i saw that there was like a trigger warning this book is really dark and i was like yep okay 
into the onto the Kindle you go, my friend. I like I said, I don't know much about these books anymore. I've read the synopsis when I was purchasing them, but I read like 25 synopsis in one go. And so this one stuck with me, but I don't remember what it's about. But like I said, the link will be down below. And the last Kindle purchase I made was Voice of War. And this one like sounds incredible. It looks incredible. And um, I heard or learned over at the Shelf Space Inn that this was written by Bookborn's husband. So uh, if you don't know who Bookborn is, I will leave her channel link down below because I love her channel. And so yeah, I thought, hey, let's support her husband and get the book and read it and hopefully review it here on the channel soon because that is something I wanna do. I wanna put out reviews for all of these self-published authors because I think they need to get more uh, love. Not like I'm a big channel to, to show them, but I mean, if someone loves their book, then they know, hey, at least this person did. Next up, I wanna share the physical books I got there. Not a lot, so let's just quickly go through. If you've been on the channel since the beginning of the year, you may know that I started reading Malice and it took over my life. So I purchased the last two books in the series. I already owned Valor, but I didn't own Ruin or Wrath. So I purchased them. So the first one is Ruin, which is the third book in The Faithful and the Fallen. And then the fourth book, which is Wrath. These books, I mean, look at them. They're so big, they are so floppy. I am so excited. If you wanna know more about The Faithful and the Fallen or about the first book of Malice, I did a should you read on the channel uh, at the beginning of the month. So that video will be linked in the cards and you can go check that out. And finally, here are some Christmas gifts that I still received that actually had arrived at work. Some of my friends delivered them to my workplace, but I didn't go into work until like the middle of the month of January. So I arrived and it was Christmas all over again because there was a couple of books waiting there for me. And so thank you so, 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 so much, Lau, Elise and Natasha for these books because wow, wow, I was really emotional when I opened these. The first book in this stack is It by Stephen King. This was a gift from Natasha, of course. Stephen King is her favorite author and she really wants me to read this, but like, look how intimidating this is. Like it's huge and it's not like the huge books intimidate me because you know, I like adult fantasy, but it is intimidating. It is intimidating and watching Andrew read this chunker in like 24 hours really made me scared for my soul. So I guess I will see when I get to this. Hopefully this year, I really wanted to, to do this. So thank you so much Natasha for getting me the chance to read. Next up is a book that was gifted to me by my lovely friend Elise. So thank you so much, girl, for getting me Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia. We buddy read Mexican Gothic last year by the same author, and I put this book on my uh, wish list because I really, really enjoyed Mexican Gothic, and I wanted to see what Sylvia Moreno-Garcia could do in a fantasy novel that was this short. Like, this is a standalone fantasy novel, and this one sounds incredible because I think it's Mayan or per Peruvian inspired... Mayan. Mayan, Mayan inspired mythology and oh, this cover also, look at this cover. Next up is a gift from my wonderful friend Claudia and she gifted me Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. I had no real interest in reading Anne of Green Gables. This was not something I read as a child. This is not something I was interested in reading, but everyone keeps raving about this. Everyone keeps raving about the show that came out. And um, recently Andy over at Andy Smith posted a review of this book and how much he loved it. And so I thought, okay, like look at this edition. This edition just deserved an award and I decided that I wanted to read it just because of this and then I could watch the show and I could be in on the fun. So thank you so much, Claudia, for gifting me that beautiful, beautiful book in that beautiful edition. Speaking of beautiful books in beautiful editions, this book got me so emotional. I literally, after opening this at work, ran through the whole corridor with my mask and went into everyone's like door and peeked in and was like, Look what my friends got me because I was so excited. This is a gift from Natasha and Elise together and they bought me. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. No, you're not ready. They got me a first edition hardcover of A Storm of Swords, which is my favorite book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. Like guys, excuse me. Look at this book. A first edition Storm of Swords. Oh, I... I was so happy, so like excited when I saw this. So yeah, I'm just so happy to add this to my collection. These are such cheesy covers and I love them so, so much. This is definitely a, a prized possession. This book, I've talked about this one before. Um, this book is my favorite in the series. I haven't read the last two yet because 
you know, A Song of Ice and Fire. But I read this book and this one is like one of my all-time favorite books in general. Not in this series alone, but just in general. This book is so, so, so good. And I'm so glad that they got this one especially and oh, thank you so much i am so happy that i have this so there you go guys that is my january book haul let me know in the comments down below if there is any of these books that you would like to buddy read and what is the book that you got in january that you're the most excited to get to thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you very soon with another video bye